Hello everyone and welcome to a new video and today I'm going to show you how to create a Zoom meeting link and invite others. It's very easy and simple, all you have to do is to follow my steps and before we begin, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe and turn on the notifications. Now first thing you should do is to open your Zoom application, sign in with your account and after signing in, as you can see here, I have some options in my screen. All you have to do is to click on schedule in order to schedule a meeting. Then you can see here, you can name the topic of your meeting. I'm going to name it work, for example. And here you can choose the date and time of your meeting. Here you can choose the start. Let me just make it 21 January or something. And it will start from... 12 p.m. and it may end on maybe two or three hours so add two hours to this number right here 2 p.m. the time zone you can also choose the time zone of your meeting and here in my case I will choose Cairo for example and here also you have this option recurring meeting and you can use this option in order to make another meeting with the same link in the same time every week or every month or even daily as you can see and you have here more options if you make it daily that you can choose repeat every two days or three days or any number of days that you want and you can also use the end date which you will use in order to stop these uh, recurring meetings or you can choose this option right here in order to choose the number of occurrences and the number of repetitions for this meeting so you have here many options that you can discover and the more you use zoom the more you discover more things about creating a meeting now here you can also type the email or name of attendees and then you can enable the chat in the meeting by enabling this option right here and then you have the security options this is the passcode that they will use in order to get into your meeting and here you have another options like waiting room the only users admitted by the host can join the meeting you can check it or uncheck it according to your purpose of meeting then here you have the video option here is the option for the host you can use your screen in order to share it or you can even use a webcam and you can also do the same option to the participants you can make them have the access to share screen or enabling the webcam or you can prevent them from having this access by turning this off then you have the audio i will here use computer audio for the calendar options you can choose one of these things right here i will use other calendars for example and here the advanced options and it's very important you can allow participants to join anytime before you come or even after you come and this is a very important option to check so always make it checked and you can mute the participants upon entry but i do not like to do so because i like participants to interact with me you can also activate this option in order to automatically record meeting on your computer and you can also approve or block entry for users from specific countries or regions let's say that these regions have uh, some internet issues so it will be useless if you make them enter because they won't be active because of the internet issues so i'm gonna click on it and choose any region that i want to uh, allow the users to get to or do the opposite and block the users from other countries L let's say that i'm gonna uh, block users from uh, any countries uh, randomly i will choose this country for example and click on save by this way any users from this country will be blocked and won't be able to enter the meeting that you have created and after finishing all you have to do is to click on save and they will give you automatically the link and the information about the meeting as you can see here the topic work and the time of the meetings uh, January 21 January 22 as you can see because I have chosen seven occurrences and here you have the link as you can see and other options like meeting ID and passcode then all you have to do is to click on copy then send it to anyone that you want him to enter the meeting or just save it in a notepad tell you give it to someone that you want and that's all for today i hope this video is useful to you all thanks for watching and see you in a new video